Hello everyone, we're back with the PowerPoint today. We're looking at some of the year four stuff, but this is some tricky stuff. So we're finding out the area of rectilinear shapes, and this time we're relating it to arrays. Arrays, you might remember, are when you've got rows of stuff, kind of like an egg container, for example. Uh, so here we've got a picture. I want you to think about this. What is the width and length of this shape? Pause the video if you need to, if you already know. Let's get straight onto it. So uh, all these shapes, not just the one I showed you, but the other three, they're all representations of the same rectangle. Now the length here is four squares, the width is three squares. Sometimes people might think that the width is four squares, the height is three squares, but this is the way I'm saying it today. Uh, there are three groups of four squares, one, two, three, four, three times, similar to our work on Monday. And that means the base fact is 3 times 4 is 12. This is what we're talking about with arrays. And because of that, we know that the area is 12 squares. You can, of course, count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. But this is slower than the methods we're doing on Monday. So uh, this time I want you to try it. Use this speaking frame to work it out for this shape. Pause the video and I want you to write this down, please, so you can send it to me when you're done. What about if we try it with a non-rectangular shape? Hmm, how could you do this one? Have a think about it. Pause the video again if you need to. And then I'm going to go through a couple of ways. The first one here is to say, right, I can see that there is five groups of two squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then over here, there's another three groups of two squares that's 10 plus 6 is 16. I could even say there's five groups of two and three groups of two then that's eight groups of two but there's another way I could look at it as well here I could say that I can see two groups of two squares up the top this block here of four all together and then down here once again I've got three groups of four squares one two three four one two three four one two three four so I've got four plus the twelve is still sixteen no matter which method you do the area hasn't changed has it so, here is your turn. Very short video today, I know. I want you to try all these. Please draw them out. It's great if you can use squared paper, uh, but if not, try and measure them out. So when it says squares, try and make your line six centimeters long, for example, to get it to be the right size. And uh, give all these a go. And if you struggle with these, I want you to just stay on this one. But if you found, wow, this is easy. I'm racing through this. This video is really short. I have an extension for you as well. Here is the extension. Remember, this is optional. If you're struggling with the last thing, I would say leave this one. But if you feel really confident, definitely try this one as well. It's possible to use, oops, I've said us, subtraction as well for some of these shapes. This is the same model as before, but I've done the box slightly differently around. That's because I can see that I've got five groups of four. Imagine like these invisible lines along here. So I'm losing my pen. Here we go. They go along here. And now I can say that I've got... Four, uh, five groups of four. So here we go. I've got five groups of four. So I've got four along here. Eight, 12, 16, 20. But this bit up here, I can take that away. So in this case, I've got 20. Take away four. 20 take away four, of course, it's 16. Can you try this yourself? Create some rectilinear shapes, a bit like this one. Uh, here's a tip if you're not sure which ones to do try making some tetris blocks and see if you can solve them not just with addition but subtraction good luck let me know how you get on